Hi there, this is Dave Detman for social media for smallbusiness.com.au and we're covering the affiliate guide step two. Okay, step two is about your profile. Okay, you need to fill in a profile on this site uh, so people can get your primary business links, your affiliate links to our products we endorse uh, through the training courses and just other people also can make contact with you on the site. Our system is a little bit like a version of Facebook, but not as fancy as Facebook. It's a very basic system just to help people make contacts with all, with clients and also with affiliates. You never know, as an affiliate, you might find which you might pick client through this site. Okay, so on this page, you can click here. All right. Now you'll see there will be videos on this page as you're doing this. So this page is before I put the videos on it. So this platform is under account. You can find pretty much your profile, okay? The friends, your directory, who are your friends, and so forth. Okay, so this is my account at the moment. How it looks. So if you want to edit your account, just go into your um, profile. I'll just do it again for you. The other way you can access it is through the directory too. The directory shows all our customers who sign up and our affiliates. So if you're a customer, you might want to just put your business on here. Okay, so if I go into mine, Okay, I can press edit. I can go in this way. Under yours, it'll have edit. And I'll say that's you. You also, if you look at the domain up here, you'll see social media for small business.com.au. And it's got D Company AU. So you can actually give out this domain with the sub in it to people if you want to use this as a place communicate okay now on the profile showing my activity okay just like a Facebook wall and also it's my info all right now people need to copy and copy and paste these links uh, but it's not that hard to do so you just go like that and paste it in okay but your main website will come up as a hyperlink Okay, you can see which I've got 17 friends. Okay, in my birthday, you can hide that if you want. Now to edit it, just press edit. Okay, so once again, we're back at this page. So you can change your name, your email, uh, a bio. Now look. The most important part of this is to put a good bio. Mine's fairly basic. Okay, you put, can put your picture. All right, you can put your Facebook profile, your Facebook fan page, uh, Facebook group, Google Plus profile, Google Plus business profile, LinkedIn profile, Twitter profile, YouTube, your blog. All right, uh, business link. Now these are the affiliate products, we'll be adding more to here. Now you don't have to fill in each of these details, you're probably saying, man, I don't want to do all this, okay? Just put what you want to put, alright? Now the most important thing to do here is put your affiliate link for, for the site, okay? Which you can find in the affiliate center, that's just so if someone comes in here trying to find you and they want to sign up under you, they're going to find you here. Uh, that's one of the most important. Now, notification settings. I would recommend you leave most of these on. You're not going to get a hundred notifications. It's just if someone, you know, does something on site involving you, you're going to know about. It. You'll get an email from the site. Now, I'd recommend unless you want to turn it off. 
is making your profile public to the world, all right? As as we're in business here, uh, that you can turn it so friends can see it, all right? And then just press update. So that's how you edit a profile. I'll give you another example. We'll go to Caf's profile because Caf's done a really good profile, and I think we should follow her lead. So in the directory at the moment. Okay, now this is the directory of everyone who's got public. It's forever growing. Okay, so you can see Cass written a good bio about what she does. All right. Now everyone who joins the site gets my and CAF added to their friends list automatically. So you've got someone to start with because CAF does a lot of work with the site and also does a lot of work behind the scenes with webinars. So you've got the board of what CAF's been up to. You can comment on it if you want. So you'll get a notification. Okay, she's filled in most of the links as she come along. You can see she's put in her affiliate link. All right. So that's what a profile should look like. Now under account, you have the directory system. Actually, I should have done the activity first, but anyway. Okay, so go into directory system. Okay, this shows you your friends. Okay. Now I'll go back and do activity. Okay, activity will show you what activity is going on around you. All right. Now the friends is if you have any friends requests from other people and you'll also get emailed uh, if you've got the email setting turned on. It's default turned on so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, I don't have any current friend requests. Okay. Inbox is where you can actually email your friends via the site. Pretty cool. Okay, so you can just go through, press compose a message. Now, I'll just start, let's say we're going to do CAF. Start typing it. See how it came up. Cafe pop before it came up with CAF. Okay, because hers is called Cat's Hands, alright. So you can go through, you can email your friend like this. Yes, doing a demo. Going how this works in a video. Always pick on calf. <laughs> Cheers. Okay. Okay, so Kathleen will get an email in her email box here and also through her email server. Alright, telling her which there's a message here. Alright, there's the message. So it's fairly basic, but it's to the point if you want to suddenly contact your affiliate on this site or you want to contact someone, you can. Uh, I, providing you build a relationship with someone, you're welcome to add people on here just don't send out business opportunities in a spam way but if you want to communicate with people you can so that is how the social media side of the site works okay so for account you just go through and scroll through these okay if you want to see your profile you just go straight to here okay actually pushed on the account button but if you press profile
Okay, and then you also got the directory as well where you can find new contacts. Right, so there's my profile there, there's my history. Alright, very simple, very easy. I hope you enjoy this feature of the site. And don't forget, if you ever want to see who's new, just go straight to the directory. Okay, so this has been step two for social media for small business.com.au and I will see you in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave your feedback, comments on any of the pages.